If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hello Magic Community on YouTube, I'm T1 Glistener Elf. Aether Revolt is coming out soon, and we have a spoiler that I would very much like to talk about in a format that people don't usually play. The card is Were of Invention. It's Court of Calling for Artifacts, more or less. It's color shifted, so it's blue, and it has Improvise instead of Convoke. Improvise works mostly like Convoke, except, yeah, you can tap the creature and you'll pay for that color, but there are very few colored artifacts in the game. Not to say that there aren't any, there's one that's blue in standard, after all. But, for the most part, it's supposed to feel a little bit fixed, because you can't use the artifacts, most of them anyway, to pay for the blue using Improvise itself. But, it's an instant, so like Court of Calling, and <laughs> this looks vintage playable. In my estimation, this looks vintage playable. Now, in vintage, you remember, other than cards that just do not work in the <laughs> in the game. There are no banned cards, they're only restricted. In other words, you can't use Chaos Orb because it's dexterity, so that's why it's banned. It's not banned for power level. Same thing with conspiracies, uh, same thing with anti-cards. It's not because of their power level, it's just because they don't really work in the format. But there's a restricted list, and one of the cards on there is Tinker. Now Tinker is a three mana, I believe it's a sorcery, and you sacrifice an artifact, you get an artifact out of your deck. Often you'll sack, say, a Mox, and you'll go and get uh, Blightsteel Colossus. <laughs> That's one way to do it. Another is to sacrifice, again, often a Mox, and go and get whichever piece you're missing in the Time Machine combo, Voltaic Key and Time Vault. Shoutouts to LSV for Top 8 Vaults, number one, Time Vault. But Tinker is only restricted to one, and that's for a good reason. Now, Time Vault is also restricted to one. Otherwise, you make the combo way too consistent. This effectively has the same mana cost. Not quite, but often it will. It's... You're going to have to pay the blue, blue, blue <laughs> most of the time. Uh, but you can tap artifact creatures you might have, you can tap your Moxon, you can tap the Voltaic Key even, you can tap... Um, your Null Rods, your Tangle Wires, other stacks pieces like those, Crucible of Worlds. Those weird cards that see a lot of play in Vintage, but not really anywhere else. Uh, you can tap those to pay for War of Invention, and it being blue means that you can also pitch it to Force of Will. Or just put it into any, any blue control deck now can go and play Time Vault, or a uh, Vault Key time machine, they can play that a lot more readily now. Um, it just gives you usually worse tinker at a lower cost. Now, it doesn't get hit with mental misstep, it can get hit with flusterstorm, uh, but it does get to dodge a little bit of uh, counter magic. Vintage is a format that's weird enough that sometimes counter spells for artifacts you play, obviously that won't work here. So whereas you could counter with, oh, 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 it's, uh, it's on the screen if I can't think of it. Uh, you could counter an artifact with a one mana spell like that. You can't do that with Word of Inventions. It allows you to get past uh, counter magic that happens to be in their hand without having to force through more of yours. Of course, this gets wrecked by Flusterstorm. I, that, I suppose that goes without saying, but the same is true for Tinker. Uh, it does get hit with Dispel. Anyway, I, I thought that that would be kind of cool. I would personally like to play uh, War of Invention in Vintage myself. I don't play much Vintage and it's all proxy because it's all casual around here. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Not made of money, can't play it otherwise. But I think that it making Time Vault that much more accessible is where I want to be. Additionally, if you are playing uh, the or the Bomberman combo, Oriox Salvagers, uh, this gives you another way to go and get Black Lotus for three mana at the end of your opponent's turn, and then start going off with Oriox Salvagers. Though, if you don't know how that combo works, Salvagers has the ability to get Black Lotus back from the graveyard 
for less mana than Black Lotus itself makes. And so you can get infinite mana off of this and, um, you know, just do whatever you'd like with that, which is anything you want. So that's uh, another way that you could put it into a deck. In any case, uh, the artifact deck itself, though, doesn't run enough uh, blue mana in order to make this work. Uh, so I'm sorry, but workshops not going to happen. Now, Affinity is also a thing in Vintage too, to a lesser extent than, say, Modern. Maybe they could run that? I actually haven't looked into that enough. I would be curious to see how that works and what your opinion on that is, especially if you yourself play Affinity in Vintage or have uh, tried that on, say, Magic Online, for instance. All right. Um, and I guess one other quick thing to note is that Tezzeret the Seeker is... Uh, I guess even more Tinker. So between Tinker itself, War of Invention, and Tezzeret the Seeker, it could make time machine combos perhaps a little too consistent, but we'll see how that pans out. I still can't think of that instant. There's more than one. A Null is one of them, um, but a Null isn't the one I was thinking of. This one either counters it or returns an artifact to hand. I think it starts with... Oh, well. This is going to bother me. I... <laughs> right after I finish recording. Alright. Anyway, take care, Magic Community on YouTube. I will see you later. Bye-bye.